Hello, my name's William Hudson from UK Cars for Less. Based in the countryside near Eccleshall in Staffordshire, we're around halfway in between Manchester and Birmingham, with great links to the M6, and we're just nine miles from Stafford's Main Lyle Railway Station, where we collect a lot of our customers coming to pick up their cars. So today I want to talk to you about one of my favourite cars that we have on site. It's this beautiful white Seat Attacker. I love the combination of style and practicality that these vehicles have. They're the stable mate of the Volkswagen Tiguan, but I think most people agree the Ateca is the better looking sister of the two. You can see it's got a really sporty stance. Great economy as well. Um, on a run in these, uh, on this particular model, I have managed to achieve well over 50 miles per gallon. You can see the FR badge detailing there and the nice alloys giving it a purposeful look and it is a purposeful car because it can get from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds and a top speed of 123 miles an hour and it's just a great place to sit when you're in one of these I think they're comfortable practical and the positioning in the back makes them a great family car as well because they're really comfortable for the whole family in the boot bags of space and this also comes with one of these rather funky rubber mats which uh, will protect the boot looking in the rear of this vehicle as you'd expect for such a young car with low mileage it really doesn't look like it's been sat in I'll take inside the vehicle show you some of the features so again this leather Alcantara it's really Nice and sporty, I think, with the sports cloth and the suede Alcantara, and then of course the red stitching with the uh, with the leather tabs here. So sitting in the vehicle, I'll just turn her on. Engine's beautifully smooth on these, extremely quiet. You can see the vehicle has covered twenty one thousand two hundred forty seven miles. Really well equipped. So you've got your cruise control. You can override your gears here if you wish to, so that um, you can go up and down um, uh, by choice rather than following the auto box. Um, it's got voice control. It's got a feature where it'll self park as well here. Um, so you can drive past the space and reverse and it'll park you in the space, uh, which is really good. Twin zone climate control. Um, auto holds, which means you can't slide backwards um, if you're on a hill. Uh, I really like this mode switch. It changes the total feel of the car when you when you put it on. If you're just driving passively and want to get the best economy, you put it on the Eco version. You've got the Normal, uh, which I've never used actually. Then you've got the Sport, which gives it a really great sporty feel. And you can actually set all the parameters yourself on the individual mode as well, uh, which we haven't got uh, set up for anyone at the moment, obviously, on this particular vehicle. Really nice uh, head unit in these, as you can see, it's got built-in navigation. Um, DAB, of course, on something of, uh, of this age. Um, of course, it linked to your phone with Bluetooth, but if you use a cable, it has got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, so it will replicate your phone really well. As you can see, uh, heated mirrors, not so important today when I'm enjoying this aircon because it's 37 degrees outside. Uh, auto headlights, um, full information system, um, and it's really good if you live on a busy road or you've got a narrow garage, it's got the folding mirrors as well as you can see. So I've probably missed lots of the great features in this car. Um, I really love them and um, when you drive them, if you come and drive this car you'll see why I love them. So if you want to come and have a drive or just want more information, just let us know.